And now, it's our pleasure to introduce JFNA's dynamic president and CEO, Eric Fingerhut. Thank you, Aaron and Lindsay. Thank you for your leadership. And Ari and Marissa, thank you for your leadership. They had, a, they had an incredible year. Friends, it's wonderful to see all the new Hevra, returning Hevra. I am Hevra from the National Young Leadership Cabinet. It's great to be with you. So when I was pulling in uh, this afternoon to the hotel, I saw a bunch of you bringing in your golf clubs. Now, I'm not much of a golfer, but one of you told me this is a really good golf course. Is that true? So I, I, I expect there's going to be people who are going to be playing here. And it reminded me of one of my favorite stories. It seems that there was a rabbi who was a real golf nut. Really, he's a, a, just always had to play. And it, it had been a while, and he hadn't played because it was the high holidays, and he was busy doing all the things. And came Yom Kippur. And on Yom Kippur, the skies were blue. It was the perfect day. And the rabbi thought to himself, he said, you know, there's that break in the afternoon, right? In the afternoon service, with, after we've been there all morning, and people, everybody's going to go home and take a nap. Who's going to notice if I sneak off to the golf course? So the rabbi sneaks off to the golf course during uh, the break on Yom Kippur. Uh, and he's getting ready to play. And of course, who happens to be watching from the, from the heavens above? Moses, our great teacher. Moses looks down and says, what is going on? He can't believe that the rabbi is playing golf on Yom Kippur. And he says to God, can you believe the rabbi is playing uh, golf on Yom Kippur? I want you to punish him for this. So the rabbi, the rabbi tees up his, uh, at the first tee, and he gets ready to swing, and he, you know, what do you call this? He gets ready, he swings, <laughs> he has a good swing, the ball flies, and then it bounces a couple times, and then it rolls right in the cup, hole in one. Moses cries out to God. He says, that's how you punish him? God says, who's he going to tell? <laughs> so listen. <laughs> you have to think about it for a minute, didn't you? <laughs> I still, people are still, it's rolling towards the back. Listen. I was on cabinet. I'm a chevra. I've been to a bunch of retre cabinet retreats. I know there are some things that are going to happen here that you're not going to want to tell people about, whether it's on the golf course, <laughs> whether it's on the golf course, <laughs> or whether it's somewhere else tonight. So my job for the next two minutes, my job for the next two minutes is to give you the things that you are going to tell people about from this cabinet retreat. You're going to tell people, as Aaron and Lindsay started to do, that you were with a group of people, extraordinary people, who are involved every day in building flourishing Jewish communities in your homes and around the world, communities that are healthy. And boy, have we been reminded these last year that health is not something we take for granted. Communities that are caring, and we've been reminded that there are people desperately in need. Communities that are safe, Communities that are welcoming and inclusive. This is the most diverse generation in the history of the Jewish people. Communities that are educated and engaged that know our tradition and know why we're here. Communities that are involved in the broader society around us because we're, after all, a minority in a much larger community and we depend on living in a great civil society, our community relations and our government relations and fighting anti-Semitism and all the things that we're gonna be talking about here. And of course, Jewish communities that are deeply involved and deeply connected to Israel and to the global Jewish people. That's the group of leaders that are in this room. And you're gonna be able to go tell people that you spent time, real time, studying and learning how we accomplish those things in our three focus areas, that you studied about community and Jewish life and you understand that all the things that happen in our communities, Lindsay talked about her day school, from day schools to camps, to trips, to caring for seniors, to taking care of the mental health needs of our communities and the caring, all the things we need, that those things just don't happen. They don't happen by accident. They don't take care of themselves. They happen because people like you organize yourselves and contribute and support and plan and lead to make those things happen. And we're going to study public affairs because we know it doesn't just happen 
that we help that we live in the society that we live in, that we're fortunate to live in, that we have to pay attention to what happens in our government, and we have to pay attention to what happens in, in the relationships we have uh, with our fellow members of communities, other racial, ethnic, religious groups of all kinds. And of course, that you're going to lean in and learn about how we are connected and how we can help support the Jewish people everywhere around the world. And of course, remain connected and deep in our connection to our brothers and sisters in the state of Israel. And finally, you're going to be able to tell people that you understand more than ever before that the core of building flourishing Jewish communities is leadership and that the essence, the base of the pipeline of the talented leadership of the Jewish people is the National Young Leadership Cabinet of the Jewish Federations of North America and that you are part of that wonderful chevra. So tell people whatever you want to tell about the golf score that you have uh, while you're out there. Tell people whatever you want to tell them about other things here. But make sure you tell them. Make sure you tell them that you are part of the National Young Leadership Cabinet and you are the leaders in building flourishing Jewish communities here and around the world and that without you, our communities can't do what they need to do. So allow me to begin this retreat by blessing you. As we always bless our people, you know, we, when the Torah is out of the ark on, uh, on Saturday morning or on holidays uh, and people are called to the Torah, we bless them. People who've had an aliyah, people who've had a new baby, maybe someone who's observing a yard site, somebody who's about to get married. We call it a Misha Beirach, right? What is it called? It, it, it comes from literally from the world to be blessed. We bless people in the name of our ancestors, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And one of the special blessings that we say every week is for the community. We say, And to all those who serve the community with faith, with hope, with commitment, with diligence, and with love. That's the chevra that I see in front of me. That's the National Young Leadership Cabinet. Let's have a wonderful retreat together. Thank you all for being here.